Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech It, and today we are going to do some fun stuff, I believe. I think we're going to make some stuff that maybe uh, you haven't seen made before, maybe you have, but it's some of the stuff required for the items to do these rails and things of that sort. So we're going to need to make, we're going to need steel at some point. We're going to need some steel because... Well, some of the rails, some of the special rails require steel instead of iron, and I think I may need it for rebar because I want to make some concrete because the 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 way that we're going to make the track I think is going to be pretty cool. So let's see. First thing we need, well, one thing we need to do is we need to be able to convert coal to coke instead of just coal. So we need to make a coke oven, right? Now, I don't know if... Coke. It's a coke brick. I think you need coke bricks. And there's coal coke. So we need these coal oven bricks to make an oven. And then with that we can convert regular coal into coal coke. And coal coke then is used in the blast furnace which converts iron into steel. Which is pretty cool. I, I mean I like these things. I didn't know. I didn't realize that they were in here and that you know that you have to go these extra steps to convert these different items so bricks and sand typical uh, setup here um, I did have to make a trip back to the LLC building to get some items I, and I went in took me a stack of um, of solar panels put them on the roof and I got some other items I grabbed some blaze rods and different stuff that we had back there that I don't have here and I don't have access to unless some of it I would have had to go into the nether and, and things of that sort. So let's get started with making I wanna leave I wanna leave one of everything in case I need to. As long as it has an EMC value, I can duplicate it. So I want to make sure I leave one um, of each item. I don't know exactly how many of these I'm gonna need. So cold coke oven, we need bricks and sand. Now let's make Let's make some of this up. So it was bricks like this, right? Make sure that this is right. I think it was sand like this. Okay, so that makes that. So let's get some more bricks going here. Seven. I don't know how many how many are we gonna need of these guys? Eleven? So we can go ahead and twelve? Should we let's start with twelve? Let's start with 12. And I'm thinking about, I don't want to, I, they're pretty big, right? And I don't want them to take up too much room. So I'm thinking about putting them right here where they where they hang outside the house. <laughs> that way it's, I kind of prepped it with the dirt back there. So if we go three across, three this way, and then I think we go up three. Oh, we're going to definitely need more. Need a lot more, huh? I may need to duplicate some bricks then. Um, let me go ahead and duplicate. Well, I already was doing iron. I don't want to use up... Let's take out some of this iron. We can use it to do bricks. What is the brick? Brick is 16. Iron is 256. So, let's we'll do it like this. You go ahead and make us up some bricks. Meanwhile, I'm going to put this iron in here. Because we're going to need iron for a lot of stuff. So, I went ahead and started duplicating it up. All right, plenty of bricks now. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a couple of stacks here. Like that. Should be good there. And then sand. Should probably make ourselves a bit of sand. That's good. <laughs> it starts to go crazy. Let's get ourselves some sand and not out of there. But the good thing about that is that you, you know, it, it's, it's in there. If you make too much, you can just, you know, you use it up for something else. All right, let's, um, what was it? Oh, it was, uh, like this. Okay, and then we'll put some bricks in here. 16, let's try that. Let's see if 16 is enough to complete our Coke oven. All right, so we have three by three by three, like this. And then we leave one hole in the center. That's like, that'll be like the oven area there. We put this one in. Creates this little window here. We got ourselves a Coke oven. 
So with a Coke oven, we should be able to take some of our coal and put it in here and see if this will convert. It's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. So go ahead and put it in here and get it get it powered up. But this coal should convert over to Coke. So let's let's leave that going for a little bit. Oh look, it gives it the uh, the lava texture on there. All right, we'll let that go for a bit. And then uh, what else? Okay, so we're, we've got that built. We don't need to use up any more of this for now. Let's get this stuff out of here. I can leave. I'll leave some sand in there and maybe some. I'll leave a stack of bricks in there as well. Then we'll put the rest back into here. In case we need some of this stuff later, or if we don't, we can um, we can use it to uh, to duplicate some some things. Now, the other thing we want to make is a blast furnace to convert um, iron into steel, right? So if we look for blast furnace, I think it only tells us the blast furnace brick. So to make a blast furnace brick, we need the soul sand, the nether brick, and magma cream. Now I was, I found magma cream and two nether brick and some soul sand. I'm gonna have to dupe some of this up here. Let's give ourselves a couple magma creams. Those are kind of expensive. And these are cheap. Magma creams are expensive. There. Come on, baby, give us, a, give us some cream. There we go. Now we get into the. I'll just make ourselves up maybe ten of these. Now, did it say how much that, how much, okay, so one of these yields four. We probably need about sixteen, so, all right, we don't need ten of them then. That's good right there. Take eight of these out. Let's get ourselves some of these. Whoa, that's good. All right, and then get ourselves some of this. This is 49. Wow, it, soul sand is uh, EMC value is a lot higher than the nether brick. I do like the nether brick. I've always liked building with the nether brick. And that should be enough soul sand there. Okay. Now, let's make ourselves up this stuff here. So it wants soul sand in the corners. And then we need nether brick. And we need these guys. So that made 28 of them. Let's see how we do with 28 of these bad boys. Now the only difference between the blast furnace and the coke oven is the height, I believe. So it's, we're still going to go three wide by three this way, right? But then we're going to go up four. So we need to knock away this wood here should do pretty good for us right there. All right, we're going to go up four like that. Okay, now the key to this one is there's actually, instead of one space in the middle, we need two spaces. So we'll do it like this. All right? So we're going to need, we're going to need more. But that's okay. We've got more. Um, Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, I used all the, the stuff. I used all the the magma cream. Oh no. Man, that's why you always save some. Did I have any? Oh man. Uh, that one, we're not gonna have enough here. We're gonna need two more. So we leave these two here in the center open, and then we got to put one here and one here to block the front, and that will make a blast furnace for us. Let's see, wow, that takes a long time. Look how long that takes. This is very, very slow. Can't boost this thing at all. What's this? That is so slow, huh? Well, I, I just messed up with that, that magma cream. I didn't do what I said I was supposed to do. Let's put some of these back away. And, you know, save save some. Darn it. Um, 
I can't make any magma cream out of these blaze rods, can I? I don't remember. Let's see. Mag... Magma cream. Blaze powder and a slime ball. I don't have any slime balls. You know what the problem is? This isn't this isn't the newer version of Minecraft to where now the slimes are actually spawning in in the um, in the swamps. So I won't find any any slimes just chilling around here anywhere. I'd have to go underground. Well, we're gonna have to wait to finish that one until I can get some more some more of the old magma cream. All right. So the other thing we want to do is build a rolling machine. Let's get this stuff out of here for now. Oh, that's right, I can't I can't shift click it down into here. I have to drag it down in here. And then we'll just throw this stuff in here for now. You guys hear the banging and everything has still got construction work going on in the background. Okay, so ro oops, rolling machine. Which one is it? Rolling machine. Alright, so we got pistons, iron ingots, crafting table. Now, you probably saw in the last episode that I did actually have some pistons. Right here, I have two pistons. And then we need a regular crafting table. We'll just make one. I don't think I have one here. Automatic, automatic. Just make one up here real quick. Let's go ahead and... We need to dupe some of these pistons. So we're going to need some more pistons, I believe. A couple more. Let's give ourselves some EMC in here. How about one of these bad boys? That should that should really help out. Bam! Alright, so we'll grab ourselves a stack of 64 pistons. Now we want to give ourselves a little bit of wood. That's good. Take a couple stacks of these because the wood is going to be used a lot. We may have to even um, we may have to even get more wood duped up that way because when we start making the rail beds and stuff it requires the slabs with the creosote oil to make the the rail beds and then we're also using the rolling machine to make the bars so wow there's a lot of banging going on in the background what else did i need oh a crafting table and that's why i made the wood up Adish. make ourselves a crafting table that's a chest I'm new here. I'm new to Minecraft. I don't know what I'm doing. Crafting table. It was pistons. Okay, and then regular iron ingots. Okay, that makes us up a rolling machine. Now we can put our rolling machine... Where should we put it? We should always keep a little bit of room between this stuff. We'll, we'll go ahead and put it here. So here's our rolling machine. What we need to make actual rails, right? So let's put some of this stuff away. Stack this up, we're good there. We'll grab some of this iron out, right? And we're gonna use iron like this. We'll start making rails, okay? So we start making rails. We're gonna need a bunch of rails because it's it's a long way back. It's It's longer than you think. When you're flying like that with the ring, you go pretty far pretty quick. So we got some rails here. I should probably put down I should probably put down another chest and we don't need a crystal chest. Let's put down one of these iron chests and we'll use this for like uh, raw goods for rails. Okay? Like raw goods meaning we'll put these rails in here, we'll make some rail beds, things like that. And next to this, we want to put down probably another... Do I have another project table? Yes. We'll put down another project table so we can work right next to this guy with that. And that window's broken. When did that window get broken? Who broke the window? Was it me? Man, I wish I didn't mess up on that. you got to really watch that, though. If you get into this stage where you're kind of using the condenser to, to dupe things, you don't want to <laughs> forget to keep at least one item. Let's go ahead and make us a... Uh, we're gonna need to make some slabs here. Let's try and do a bunch of slabs. And we'll do another set. Okay, and we'll put those slabs all in this one. That 
it's a, it's a fair amount of slabs. Mm. It's probably good. It's probably good there. Now we have, I have some creosote oil here already, and let's go ahead and. It's actually easy to make creosote oil. It's just. Um, it, I think it's just this. You actually burn burn a piece of coal. Whether you're using coal or wood or whatever, you burn a piece of coal, that should make the creosote oil. There you go. And it comes in a, a jar for you, nicely enough, right? Let's grab some, let's grab a stack of these out of here and make ourselves up some rail beds. Like this. Or ra rail ties, I mean. And rail ties combined together make rail beds. You'll see. You'll see. Oops. All right, that's good. Guess we can put the ties in here, the oil in here. That's what we can do. We can grab some of this stuff out of here, which we're gonna need, and put it up into this area, which will be really, really handy. Um, these things, put some more regular wood in there. Grab some of this. The iron is gonna be used on the rolling machine, but we can grab some of this out of here. Put it in this project table here. Okay, and we might as well grab this section out. Put that in there. Now, the, some of the other stuff that I'm going to be making is, let's look at this. If you look at uh, concrete, right? Concrete, block of concrete. So to make a block of concrete, you need rebar and stone like this to make eight blocks of concrete. And then with the concrete and the special metal post fences, we will make a rail, like a, a bridge and, and things like that for the rail to run on. And I think it'll end up looking really cool. So to make rebar in the rolling machine, iron ingots, iron ingots, where did I put those? I put them all away, iron ingots. So to make rebar, we would go like this. There's the rebar. So we could make, we're gonna need a ton of rebar as well. So you can see what I'm saying when it comes to how much iron we're gonna be using for this. A lot, there's a lot. So there's 64 rebar. We can put the rebar, we can put it in this chest there. Um, and if we had some, uh, oops, some cobble. Was it stone or was it cobble? Oh, it's stone, it's stone, okay. All right, oops. Anything going on in this guy? We'll put that in there right now. Let's see how our Coke is doing. Wow, it's slow. Okay, so, but when you when you cook this, you see what else it does, right? When you cook the coal in this Coke oven, it will produce coal Coke, but it also produces the creosote oil at the same time. So you're getting two products out of this. It's just very, very slow, apparently. Very slow. All right, what else was there that I wanted to look at real quick? Um, I think it was metal. These things right here. So we're gonna look at probably, to match that concrete, maybe a gray metal post like this. How do, I, how do you make these? These are made in the rolling machine for sure. Here we go, rolling machine. So you can either do an I pattern or an H pattern to make the posts. So let's try and make some of those real quick too. Good thing I have all this iron. All right, rolling machine is gonna be very, very handy. Let's do it in the H pattern, like this. Make some metal posts. What color is that though? Oh, then you, you wrap the posts around, that's right, you wrap the post around a certain color to change the, the color of the post, so. That will work out as well. Hey, who just came in the house? Who just came in here? All right, so we got some metal posts that we're gonna be putting in here, and we'll color those later to match the the stone. We've got 12 stones so far. Let's see what some concrete looks like. Now, we, we did make some concrete in the, um, in the, I believe we used some reinforced concrete in the nuclear plant already. So what was I gonna make? Concrete, not COP, C-O-N. If 
Concrete. There it is. All right. So five and four, just like that. Two, three, four, five, and take our rebar. And it gives us eight blocks of concrete. And we're going to utilize these blocks of concrete to make our... Let's put this stuff like this. Oh, that's... I need that and like that. Eight blocks of concrete. We're going to use that to make our station. Now, if we can, while this stuff's all going, you know, dude, get out of here. Get out of here. We want to go over here and we'll, I marked it with this torch. This is the area that I'd like to put like the station, right? We're going to make a rail station. This will be the end on this side. This will be the ending on this side and then it'll go all the way over to Maybe just shy of the town, maybe just shy of the LLC building, maybe in behind. I'm not sure where it's going to hit as far as the um, the location where it's going to land in around the power plant. Maybe it's not going to be straight. I don't know because when I was flying over here, remember I was taking lefts and rights and looking at the desert and, and things of that sort. So not 100% sure, but we're just going to we're going to push through that way. And we're going to find it. We're also going to put a refinery right there for that oil. And I think that I would like to build, because I'm going to build this out of concrete, I want to use these stone bricks. These stone bricks. Make sure I... Is there an EMC value on these? Yeah, stone bricks. I want to use these guys to build this, this area. Now, as far as this rail thing goes, we want it to... I'm going to fly up a little bit and see. We want it to miss that. We want to leave ourselves enough room right there, so we'll probably... Now let's lay it out like this. We want it to be kind of big because we may put, I don't know how to do the uh, like rail cart dispensing units, but I don't know how big that's going to be. We'll kind of just lay out a basic, basic little L shape here saying, okay, this is where the rail station is going to be. And it may, may end up being a lot bigger than that. But this is where you'll embark and disembark on the rail. And then over here, we're going to have the refinery, which will look pretty cool. So you can see up top there, I've got the I've got the solar panels going in case I need some power inside here. And that, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to fly back over. I'm going to have to fly back over to, uh, to get some magma cream. I should have brought more than one, but... Oh well, it is what it is. So if I if I when I go back, I'm gonna try and stay on 625 here, and I'll see basically where that lands over there. So next episode, we'll finish up the blast furnace, and we'll we'll continue to make some some concrete. We'll get all some of that stuff made, and I'll start maybe just from here, running out just a little bit, so we can get an idea of how to build this support structure where I'm going to put the rails. So thanks for watching another episode of Tech It. I'll see you guys next episode. Later.